pick up the telephone, you know. Put that shit off. I don't want to start lying. That's a song I play for my bitches at the dollar store. You can have whatever you like. I'm gonna get your kids something too. See all these phones in here and shit. Y'all recording niggas. Can't trust niggas. Nah, I know how niggas is. I did a show one time. It was a nigga outside selling the shit I just did. He said, You want that new D ray that nigga, I'm D-Ray. That nigga said, you ain't gonna support yourself? No. <laughs> so I bought two D-Rays. <laughs> nigga, I know that's you up there yelling. I know who yelling too. I seen the nigga that was dancing the most. Nigga with the white outfit. I know that's you, nigga. Looking like a hip-hop angel in this motherfucker over there. Nigga, all that white over there. Nigga, I don't want nobody to touch me, nigga. We got two niggas yelling out shit with late seats. Y'all talking to each other? The nigga over there didn't even drive. What's up, nigga? <laughs> as long as your brokest friends be the loudest. Broke niggas the loudest all the time. How y'all doing, nigga? <laughs> Shut up, nigga. <laughs> well, somebody come color your clothes. <laughs> that tight ass shirt on, nigga. If you don't go change that hey, motherfucker, nigga got a sample on. <laughs> The big one coming in the mail. Mm -hmm. That little ass shirt, nigga, if you don't take that shit off, nigga about to die. That's why he keeps standing up. That motherfucker tight. That nigga like, ah, oh, hey! <laughs> you go, you go the white body suit on. You don't get your ass out <sighs> Have fun though, man. If you're having a good time, have a good time regardless of the fact. Because you don't have to be here. Life could fucking be over for your ass. So thank God every day, celebrate every day, enjoy yourself every fucking day. Make some noise. You do not have HIV, make some noise right now. You do not have. <laughs> Motherfuckers in here coughing and clapping. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's, it's, <laughs> niggas lying. It's that corona shit. Nah. Nah, nigga, you've been coughing for about 35 days, nigga. Because motherfuckers are not here, so blessed to the families of the motherfuckers that we lost. This year, I thought I was going to be turned up by now, goddamn, what is it, March, motherfucker? I thought I was going to be rich. All them resolutions I made, and I ain't got shit yet. I done been playing that lottery, didn't win. God ain't going to let me win. I know why God ain't going to let me win a lottery, because God know my heart. <laughs> you ever feel like that? Let nigga know I'm about the clown. You can't give a nigga. That's why God let all them bullshit niggas win a lottery. All them, uh, 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 we going to give it to charity, ass niggas. <laughs> God know nigga, my name cheated today, bitch. I'm gonna do shit, nigga. God won't let me win all that money. He know I'm a clown out here. I'm gonna do shit, nigga. I'm gonna do shit rappers don't even rap about, nigga. I'm gonna get all my bones replaced with gold. Nigga, I'm out here, bitch. Heavy yeah, yeah. on these hoes. Here come this heavy at me. <laughs> nigga act funny with his gold bones. <laughs> I'm a bad shit, nigga. I'm about my kids, a, 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 a parent, nigga. I ain't got time for that daddy shit no more, little bitches. Got rich daddy shit to do. <laughs> Motherfucker said they don't want to. One of my friends said the first thing I'm gonna do is change my number. I ain't changing my number, nigga. I'm rich as fuck. I want all my old hoes to call. <laughs> that fake ass congratulations. Heard you doing good. Show this, bitch. Show <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Live, man, we gotta live while we here. Cause motherfuckers dying. You know what's weird about motherfuckers who die? Every time somebody die, it's always somebody who just seen them. <laughs> ain't nobody ever died a nigga ain't seen in a while. Nigga, I just seen that nigga. <laughs> God damn that nigga dead. That nigga was walking and talking and uh, alive. Yeah. <laughs> you see a nigga reach for his phone like he gonna call him? That nigga dead. Hold on, nigga. <laughs> if he answer that motherfucker, you better hang up. I mean, you next, nigga. Oh, Every time somebody die, nigga start saying weird shit. Nigga, you gotta live while you living. <laughs> somebody always say this shit. Nigga, you never know. Nigga, you never know. Yeah, you never know. Nigga, if you knew, you wouldn't die. <laughs> Ain't nobody ever left a motherfucking house and they was like, you gonna die today. I'm still going out. <laughs> Don't nobody ever wanna die. Everybody wanna live forever. 
If you was in a car crash, your car just about to crash and shit, you said, God, not now. What if God said, then when? Mm. Shit, I don't know, nigga. What you got open the next uh, 20 years from now? <laughs> Nobody want to die, man. We lost some great people. And then Nipsey Hussle shit fucked me up. And I was in the eye. I had a, uh, I had a, what the fuck? I had vertigo on the day Nipsey was, uh, Nipsey's funeral. And I was fucking having vertigo and I didn't know what it was. I thought I was dying. And the first thing I thought was Nipsey's a fucking, this nigga's did everything for community, everything for his people, and I ain't did shit. I can't die today. Like, ain't nobody gonna fuck about D Ray today, nigga. I better wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Say, I died at midnight, nigga. I'm just saying we need to stop giving all the power to death and start giving it to other shit, everyday shit. The same way we give death power, give that shit to everyday shit. Like you ever walk in a sandwich spot and they ain't got your sandwich no more? Mourn that shit. What the fuck y'all talking about? I just ate it the other day. Oh. Nigga, I can still taste the sauce on that motherfucker. You gotta eat while you eat, nigga. You never know. Sometimes you have on and off relationships, you get together, break up, back together, fuck, get together, break up, back together, fuck, get together, break up, back together, fuck, then she just stopped fucking your ass. Straight, what, nigga? I just fucked her the other day. I can still taste that pussy, nigga. A new nigga be like, you never know. You fuck? Who was your new nigga? Me and we some sensitive motherfucker. Men cannot take what we dish out, nigga. We can't. We some weak ass niggas. A man, we can fuck 30 bitches in a month. You want your nigga to forgive? You want a motherfucker to forgive your ass? Your bitch go to do fucking lunch with one nigga, your stomach hurt. Goddamn, bitch! You out here letting niggas feed you, hoe? You out here enjoying meal, bitch, switching spoons? We some weak niggas, man. Whenever it come to cheating, you cheat on your woman, she don't want no details. She don't give a fuck about details. She caught your lying ass. Fuck you, nigga. Don't tell me I already fucking knew it. I had a feeling, nigga. <laughs> fuck you, fuck your friends, and fuck your mama. Fuck my mama. Cause the bitch knew. <laughs> fuck you, know my mama knew, motherfucker. The bitch knew. She said, fuck your mama so hard, your mama's somewhere else in Philly. Oh, oh, who the fuck? I know that bitch ain't like me. But a woman don't want no details. She don't need no details because you done lied for so long. When your woman cheated on you, niggas want details. You can't believe that shit happened to a player like yourself. You got questions. And where was I when y'all did that? I was at work, bitch. While I was at work, Women mean as fuck when they, when, they, when they cheat on you back. They be like, yes, nigga, what I'm supposed to do while you're not at work? <laughs> fuck that shit, bitch. Start asking questions you don't want to know. Was he, was he, was he bigger than you? He was huge. <laughs> All my organs got moved over. Bitch, what? Did you suck his? Yes, I sucked it. My mouth may never close again. Bitch, what? Yeah, yeah. That's why I pop it right there. That's why I've been trying to tell you why my job is like this. <laughs> Bitch, you the fuck you been such your job to hand you? <laughs> your friends come over, nigga, what's wrong with your lady job? <laughs> Don't worry about it. She's like, nah, tell him what I did. <laughs> tell him what you did, then tell him what I did. I talked about death early because one of my good friends died early to something. His name is John Singleton. If you don't know the name, go Google the name, learn the name. One of the pioneers of black film. He writer, producer, director, um, baby boy, higher learning, poetic justice, boys in the hood. He put me on Empire. He saw more than a comic in me. And uh, then he put me on Snowfall, which come back with season four. If y'all watch this shit. We filming right now, they got me killing more niggas. But I even went to see him, and I don't go see people when they're in illness. I don't go see people when they're in the hospital. Exactly. I want to remember you, how you was on your feet. And I went to see John. He was laid out, and I knew the nigga wouldn't want me to see him like that. And his dad was like, "Just say something to him." And I was like, "I don't know what the fuck to say to this nigga." You know what I'm saying? Let's go to strip club, John. Cause that would get me up, nigga. Where are the bitches? Oh, you know. 
but I went to see him, I had to pay respect. I was there with the lead of Snowfall. His name is Damson Idris. He plays Franklin on the show. And he started talking to John right away. He was like, John, just you know. I don't know if y'all know that nigga British. Yeah, he like, John, just you know, we're all rooting for you back on the set. I said, nigga, if you don't talk like your character in this motherfucker. <laughs> It's always the motherfuckers that come from England that come here that play the gangsta ass role. Fuck you, nigga! I'll kill everybody in this room, bitch! And they accept their award. They're like, I never thought today would come. Ooh. It's a little boy. I walk around. It's a, li a little boy. Oh, shit, man. But I told John I'd do certain shit and I started doing it. I told him I would go on vacation. I'd never go on vacation. For one, I don't like going real far because I always feel like I'm the nigga that's going to get tookin'. <laughs> it's tookin', nigga. White people get taken, niggas get tookin'. <laughs> you ain't never heard a nigga got taken, he was taken. Like, what they do to him? What they take him to? When they say they took that nigga, you know they took him. What the fuck, nigga? My biggest fear of getting kidnapped is I'm the only nigga in my family with money. I can't call nobody to come get me. The kidnappers be calling all my cousins and shit. Them niggas owe me money. They not answering. They think it's all a hoax and shit. The kidnappers sing the, sending fucking fingers and toes and shit. My cousin's like, oh, this nigga going through a whole lot for this $30.